Ed Holmes here for Red Tractor Nation. I'm here today with Ryan Peters. He's from Maxwell, Iowa. And Ryan really likes to collect things that are just a little bit different than what you'd normally see. And what he has here today is a 1967 806 LP gas, which is very unusual because we're in the upper Midwest. And most of these tractors were used down in the south in Texas and Louisiana and down there because LP was more prominent down there. And he's gonna tell us everything about this tractor that we need to know. All righty, so as you said, it's uh, 806 LP, runs on liquid petroleum. Um, this was a very common setup in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. IH pretty much got out of factory propane in the 56 series, okay. which was the series right after this. Um, and like you said, down south, we had the year oil refineries back in the day. LP was considered a waste byproduct of gasoline and oil ah. refining so they would burn it off well they found there was a need for this so companies like uh, Minneapolis Moline for instance they were probably the biggest promoter of propane tractors and followed closely by IH and John Deere you'll see a lot of propane tractors in Texas Oklahoma Louisiana Arkansas down where you had you know proximity to the refineries and very it was inexpensive product cheap it was pennies on the dollar compared to a gallon of gas, but it had the same efficiency as gas. So roughly about the same gallons per hour usage in the field as a gas engine. So what did what are some of the things they had to change in order for it to be able to use propane? Well, the biggest thing with propane, um, it needs more compression. Okay. So you need to compress it more to get the equivalent BTU out of it as you would gas. So in this series, what they did was it basically had high dome, high compression pistons. Okay. And then the other thing, since LP burns hot, you needed to have special valves and hardened valve seats. And IH used a valve that was called Stellite, um, and they were a special valve just for LP. And what would happen if they didn't have the hardened valves in them? Um, well, what they would do is, it's not indicative of a propane tractor because you don't if LP burns so clean, you don't get a lot of carbon buildup. Okay. But if you were to get carbon on your exhaust valve, um, you could develop a hot spot in that carbon, and eventually over time what it would do, that exhaust going by, can superheat that carbon, and it almost acts like a cutting torch, and it'll just zip the head right off it, that valve. It burn right off, it, huh? Yeah, just, I mean, it blows it off just like a cutting torch, and then basically drop you drop the valve. the valve, and now your engine's gonna eat it, and, and you're pretty much done until you done. rebuild it. So. Um, this compared to a gas tractor, um, obviously sheet metal's different, fuel tank is different, um, but other than that, these were the same engine as a gas. This is a C301, 301 okay. cubic inch. Um, you could order a gas with high compression pistons. You could do that and it, you know, really wake them up. But other than that, same ignition system, same electrical system, um, everything else is virtually the same other than a few little other key components. Heavy. And it doesn't have a carburetor, it's got a vaporizer and an LP carb. Okay. Um, and then the manifolds were special to this. They didn't, if you ever look at an LP manifold, the cold side, or the okay. intake is what it's called, is physically separated from the exhaust. Oh, it's not touching it at it's all. It's not touching. It's technically a two-piece manifold, and they didn't have the heat exchanger valve in there okay. to heat the gas. Because you it. don't want it to do that. You don't want it to get too hot. Um, so the, the manifolds were, you know, kind of special to this. And over the years, tractor pullers found out they make a little bit more horsepower on gas. So a lot of LP tractors yeah. were uh, carted out for pullers, for and, pullers and whatnot. But, you know, other than, other than the LP stuff, this is basically just an 806 gas. Um, it does have options, has a wide front. Um, the other the other weird thing about it is being that it's a very very late production tractor and it's the highest serial number 806 LP that we know of it's a 67 um, the tractor wide front power steering had the deluxe suspension seat very nice um, all that and then if you went around to the back it actually had dual PTO had the 540 and the thousand okay it had all sorts of options but whoever ordered this it's got a fast hitch. Oh really? It doesn't have a three-point. This is a factory fast hitch tractor. So, so you think this was a, an IH guy that really wanted to stay with the true he, IH product? He huh? must either that or he already had existing fast hitch implements. That was yeah. He, he didn't want to change over to three-point hitches. Yep. And so that's what's weird about this is it had all this stuff on it, 
all these options and it had uh, extra front remotes, extra rear remotes with a fast hitch. With the traditional fast hitch. Yep. Fantastic. So that's that's the odd thing and it's it's late enough. It does have flat top fenders and, and whatnot. The one thing they did change in production is earlier models, you actually had a light that would mount here. Okay. So this panel is indicative of a, a tail end production because they okay. did because you had your lights here. They took here. it away and put it in the fenders. Yep, you had your, your lights here. And so that light was typically used with like the clamshell fenders okay. that you'd see on the earlier version. But well, where um, did you find this one? Ironically, as we, it's kind of funny because we're just saying, you know, how all this stuff come from down south. This tractor was actually sold new in central Iowa. Oh, no. <laughs> it was sold new about 40 miles west of where I live, which is really, really, really odd. That you, is really you, different. You just don't see uh, LP tractors Do you in think the owner ordered it because um, he just wanted LP? Or do you think well, the dealer I, just happened to have it? Well, I don't really know. I think with something as odd as LP, that would have to be ordered. That would be it's a, not just a place something, in order. It's just not something that the you know the branch house is going to send to a dealer and hope no. they sell it. And the other thing that would be odd too is like, why would you buy a tractor with all the options and get a fast hitch? True. Because at that time, fast hitches were kind of going away, and yeah. three point was predominant and whatnot. So, it's you know we. What do you? I, what's the best thing you like about this tractor? What's what's your favorite? thing about this tractor it's just odd just weird it's it's, it's odd. Just i like you know i like everybody's you know when they were doing 1206s are pretty popular and stuff i was like hey i'm gonna do an lp tractor so there i you. like lp just because it's not what you see around here right. um i like going to shows and seeing weird stuff you know that's not common we're seeing to, something to something corn different country. yeah so this that's why i like lp in, in the newer stuff um the other thing that's nice too is with lp these things will start in any temperature with no choke and the nice thing wow. about lp is once you start it and it's running they they're not cold-blooded like a gas tractor you know you okay. gotta wait for it to warm up and you know and you, you try to take off and it starts you know farting and coughing and stumbling yep. or whatever these things hit the button it's running put it in it's gear ready and, go, to go. and you're done and another thing you showed me that is is something about an lp that we would say is a byproduct is that there's no byproduct that ends up in the oil. Exactly, they they burn absolutely clean. Um, this tractor has been done for about three years, and you can pull the dipstick, and it looks like I just changed the yep, oil today. I saw. It looks like you just added all the oil to it this morning. Yep, it's, it's the only thing you clean. so when you think about having to change the oil in it, you have to go by the hours that you've used the the engine, and say, okay, now it's time to change the oil. Yep. Otherwise. The oil does break down, but it never gets dirty because it's not getting that byproduct exactly. from, from the so gas. The, the oil will lose all of its properties and, and end its life before it even looks like it needs to be changed. Right. So you need to, like you said, you need to keep up on hours, and that's the only thing is with an LP, you know, you got to make sure you change the oil every so often because the oil life will, will run out on it. Okay. Thank you very much, Ryan, for no showing problem. us around this beautiful 806 LP. This has been Ed Holmes for Red Tractor Nation.